Thus, we send a woman to pillow with you instead. Buntaro bravely sacrifices himself for Lord Yashi Toranaga and his warriors in Shingun Episode 3, which introduces the main plot that fans have been waiting for. In Shingun Episode 2, when an assassin attacks John Blackthorne, Lord Toranaga decides to depart Osaka, but he is compelled to leave in secret due to the enemies he faces. The group is forced to fight their way out of Osaka. Once they are discovered in the act, Buntaro, Lady Mariko's husband, pays a heavy price for this, as he is left behind to repel enemy soldiers. While Buntaro's death isn't explicitly shown on screen, it's safe to assume the warrior goes down fighting. He meets an honorable end, even though he's a controversial character for how poorly he treats Lady Mariko. And with Lady Mariko becoming a widow, Shingun can finally dig into the storyline viewers, particularly those who have read James Clavell's book, have been eagerly anticipating. Buntero's apparent death in Shogun sets up a romance between John and Lady Mariko. Christ! How much are the Jesuits paying this one to kill me? There's clear chemistry between the pair, and there's no denying that they make a good team. Buntero's apparent death in Shingun Episode 3 opens the door for Lady Mariko to move on from their unhappy marriage and for her to pursue a romance with John Blackburn. Despite hailing from different nations and religions, John and Lady Mariko are the two characters who get along the best over the course of Shingun's first three episodes. There's clear chemistry between the pair, and there's no denying that they make a good team. That's evident from their hilarious performance to distract Ishido's guards. However, it also shines through their smaller interactions and willingness to jump in and help one another. It seems clear that Shingun is building up to a relationship between John Blackthorn and Lady Mariko, and the latter's newly widowed status allows that to happen more easily. While the two could have had an affair, Lady Mariko doesn't seem like the type to risk her morals or position over such a thing. Likewise, John needs to stay out of trouble, so it's unlikely he'd make a move on Lady Mariko with her husband so close by. Now that Bontaro is out of the picture, things can flow a bit more smoothly for them. Are John Blackthorne and Lady Mariko romantically involved in the Shogun book? John and Mariko secretly begin a relationship in the source material, and that's likely how things will play out in the FX adaptation. Given that both John Blackthorne and Lady Mariko are included in Clavel's critically acclaimed novel, a romantic relationship between them would seem to be the logical next step for Shingun. In the original novel, John and Mariko start dating covertly, and it's likely that this is how things will work out in the FX version. Although Bontaro's passing prevents them from discussing their relationship in public, it does cause them to see each other in a new light. There's no reason to believe Shingun will omit this section of the text, especially given the early episodes already allude to it, and the book's events have been largely loyal to it.